ICE is in an active investigation, and we're learning there were 10 shooting victims total, one as young as 12 years old, a sixth grader from Bob Murphy Middle School in Rialto. And I'll take you into the scene here behind me. Police have been out here now about 16 hours, still trying to figure out exactly what happened here. Just before midnight, the police were dispatched to the corner of Highland and Palm after shots rang out. I hear pop, 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 and I'm looking around, I'm like, what the heck? This woman tells me her 12-year-old granddaughter was among the victims. The oldest one got into the front seat. The other victim I had in my car, she was scratched down into the bottom part. I don't know how she got, but the blood and stuff right here is from my child that was shot in the leg, the thigh. Surveillance footage from the nearby 7-Eleven shows the girls desperate for help, falling out of the car at one point before being taken to the hospital by an ambulance. When we pulled up, it was like grown people here, teenagers, kids. Authorities say one shooting victim was pronounced dead on the scene. Nine others were injured. Many self-transported to a local hospital. See, there was a shooting at the Blue Flame Lounge. Um, supposedly, it was like a prom after party, and they're young kids. People attending the gathering last night say it was an end-of-the-year celebration for proms and graduations that took a violent turn. I heard more gunshots, and then we all got up, started like trying to get underneath each other, like to not get hit. It's heartbreaking because I'm a mom, so I know what it's like when you don't know where your child is at any time of night or any age. So um, I had planned to come out here. I, there's so many phone calls that try to figure out what, to help where are your children. Cars are here, but no kids. Cell phones are here, and they're not calling them. I was told that there were some kids here from Pacific High School. There was minors, you know, as young as 12. Uh, there was adults here, 21 and older. And back out here live, another look at the investigation. That 12-year-old victim was released from the hospital. The family tells me she is doing okay. Police say the motive of the shooting is still unknown right now. Witnesses seem to think it started uh, from some sort of altercation between two different groups. Now, as for the person who died at the scene, a 20-year-old man, I did speak with the family. They didn't want to release his name, but they believe he was an innocent bystander caught in the middle of crossfire here. Reporting live in San Bernardino, Susan, back to you.